The fortress of the Bastille is a monument that has disappeared. On its site, we now find the Place de la Bastille. The history of the fortress began in 1356, when construction began on the gate with two towers. It was Charles V who decided in 1367 to transform this building. Construction lasted from 1370 to 1383, and the Bastille became a real urban castle with eight towers and its own arsenal to defend the one part of eastern Paris. Today, the Bastille is known as a prison, but it only became a prison in the 14th century. It was then occasionally used to lock up a few great lords. It was Cardinal Richelieu who turned it into a state prison. The Bastille is remembered as a tool of the absolute monarchy. It is associated with the letters of stamps that allowed the king and his ministers to order imprisonment without going through a trial. The Bastille is also known for its iron cages used to hold prisoners. The conditions of imprisonment differed according to the status of the prisoners. Some lived there comfortably, while others were in dungeon that took water with each new rainfall. At the beginning of the reign of Louis XIV, People imprisoned in the Bastille were mainly there for political reasons. Among the famous people we passed through the Bastille were Nicolas Fouquet, the Marquis de Sade, and Voltaire. One of the most mysterious prisoners is called the Iron Mask. He owes his name to the black velvet mask he wore. Nobody knows his identity. He arrived at the Bastille in 1698 where he died in 1703 after 34 years of imprisonment. On the 14th of July 1789, the storming of the Bastille marked the end of its history as a royal prison. At that time, it housed seven prisoners. It was subsequently destroyed, and its demolition began the following day.